In other news, South Korea's period of national mourning continues for the victims of last weekend's deadly crush in Seoul's Itaewon district that killed 156 people and left dozens more seriously injured. Mourners are continuing to flock to memorial altars to pay their respects to the deceased, many of them young people. Our reporter Song Yu Jin joins us live from one of those altars. Yu Jin, people are still coming along to pay their condolences. You're right, Mark. I'm at Seoul Plaza in front of City Hall, just a 15-minute drive from Itaewon, where Saturday night's tragedy struck. Now, our team, we've been out here since very early morning, even before the altar opened. And since then, we've been seeing mourners continuously coming in, laying down flowers and leaving messages of condolences. And earlier today, South Korean President Yoon suk yeol came here and paid a silent tribute at around 9 a.m. The president paid a visit to one of the memorial altars for the the third day straight. And it's been three days since the city government set up this memorial altar. Now this one runs from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day until Saturday, which is the last day of the week-long national period of mourning. And as of yesterday at 5 p.m., which is Tuesday, 12,225 people had visited here to say their last goodbyes to those who died. And almost 30,000 visitors flocked to other memorial sites set up in 25 autonomous districts of Seoul, including the one at Dok Sapyeong Station that's close to Itaewon. And representatives of other countries also came to extend their condolences. This is an unprecedented event that, you know, uh, caused so many pain to the family. And uh, the Cambodian, we know quite well because in 2010, we experienced similar situation. So that's why um, together we want to pray for the people uh, that have lost their life and the victims that... Yeah, it's, it's very sad because youngsters are the future of uh, any country. Well, I think clearly we can all echo those sentiments. Um, have the authorities here in South Korea provided any updates on the number of casualties? Well, there aren't any updates in number yet from yesterday. Latest data from the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasures headquarters show that as of 9 a.m. today, the death toll stands at 156. Out of them, 130 have been identified as Koreans and 26 non-Koreans. And the funerals of 68 people have taken place. The number of deaths remains unchanged after a Korean woman in her 20s was the latest victim to be reported earlier yesterday. And at least 150. 57 people were listed as being injured, and out of them, 121 have been discharged from hospital after receiving treatment. But still, 33 are reportedly in critical condition. That's all I have for now, but I'll be back in our next newscast at 2 p.m. Back to you, Mark.